A Postman Pat Storybook Collection, read aloud for kids. If you enjoy my videos, please consider subscribing. And why not share my videos with friends or family members? Postman Pat's Messy Day It was a nice day. The sun was coming out. Lovely, said Pat. He put his sunglasses on. Pat was on his way in his red van. He had a big bag of letters and parcels. Everyone looked out for Pat and said, I hope he has something for me today. Jess liked the sun too. He sat in his basket next to Pat. The sun shone on Jess. It made him warm. It made him purr. Jess washed his paws. He washed his ears. He twitched his whiskers. Pat stopped at Ted's house. There were two letters and a parcel for Ted. Pat knocked on Ted's door. There was no answer. Hello, called Pat. Anyone home? Pat opened the door. Hello, Ted. Are you here? Ted was not there. That's funny, said Pat. He must be about somewhere. He put the letters and the parcel on the table. We'll have to find him, said Pat. He has to sign for that parcel. Pat and Jess went to look for Ted in the garden. They saw a magpie, a snail and a squirrel, but no Ted. Pat and Jess went to look for Ted in his garage. They looked in Ted's car. They looked under Ted's car. Jess saw a mouse run to its hole, but he could not catch it. Pat saw Ted's toolkit open on the bench, but they did not see Ted. I know, said Pat. He might be round the back, sunbathing on the lawn. Pat and Jess went round to the back. There was a ladder at the side of the house. There was a deck chair on the lawn. There was an empty glass and a book next to it. But there was no Ted. Where can he be? said Pat. Hello, said Ted. Pat jumped. Jess put his claws out. Has that parcel come for me? said Ted. Where was he? Pat looked up and down, but he could not see Ted. His voice was near. I'm up here, said Ted. Pat looked up. Ted was on the roof. Oh, there you are, said Pat. We've been looking all over for you. What are you doing up there? I'm mending this roof, said Ted, while the sun shines. Can you come down and sign for your parcel, said Pat. It's a bit tricky, said Ted. It really is a bit tricky getting down just now. Don't worry, said Pat. I'll come up. Pat went up the ladder. Jess wanted to see what was on Ted's roof. He followed Pat up the ladder. Onto the roof went Jess. Over the roof and round the chimney pots after the birds. Hi, Jess. Come back, called Pat. But Jess was not listening. Ted signed Pat's book. Pat went back down the ladder. I'm glad to be down again, said Pat. Now where's that cat of mine? Come on, Jess. It's time to go. Jess! Jess! Come on, you bad cat. Then he heard Ted call out. Look out, Jess! There was a thump. Something rolled. Rumble, rumble down the roof. It banged into the gutter. Pat looked up. Oh! Before he could move, something came dripping and splashing onto him. It was bright red, sticky, messy paint. Jess had knocked over a pot of Ted's paint. You never saw such a mess. It was all over Pat's hat. There was some in his hair. There was some on his nose. Ted came down the ladder. Come on, said Ted. Quickly, before it soaks in. Pat and Ted ran into the kitchen. Pat washed his hair and his nose. Ted had a bottle under the sink. This is good stuff, he said. He dabbed it on Pat's hat. It took a deal of rubbing and soaking and more dabs of the stuff from the bottle. In the end, most of the paint came off. It's not too bad now, said Ted. You'd better pop the hat in a washer when you get home. Thanks, said Pat. Now, I wonder where that cat has got to. Jess was at the top of the ladder, meowing sadly. Poor Jess, said Ted. He's stuck. He can go up ladders, but he can't come down them. 
He's been stuck up there all this time. Jess had red paint on his paws. He's been a pest, said Pat. A proper pest. But Jess looked so sad, Pat could not be cross with him. He went up the ladder and brought Jess down, tucked inside his coat. They had to rub Jess's paws with the stuff in Ted's bottle to clean them. And then they put him in the bath. Oh, how he hated it. He never ever went up ladders again. When Pat called at Granny Dryden's house, she brought a nice piece of fish out to the van for Jess on his own special plate. Jess ate it up and licked his lips and purred. He was much better after that. The end. Thanks so much for watching and I hope to see you again here at the ABC Storytime.